This is the outside of the place I'm staying. This is my chair. This is my car. And, uh... And, you know, I rented a car. Cool breeze is nice. Tomorrow, we're going to do a little barbecue. You know? Put some fish on the grill. We're going to buy some fish at the market. And hang out with... So, this is my, this is my couch. This is uh, my table here. I got my whole cooking thing here. Sorry, I bought some groceries today. It's a mess. Um... Just I'm a mess all over the place, but this is my netted bed. Of course, I didn't spread it. Who needs to? It's vacation. Oh, stuff to pack my clothes. Not staying here that long. <laughs> Ready? This right here is a little table. A little mirror right here. My shower right here. You know. So twenty-two dollars a night. And too shabby. <laughs> got my eggs to make a quick breakfast. So you don't have to go out and eat every day because I got a whole month in Africa. You don't want to go out every day eating breakfast. So you need a place where you could scramble a little egg, have your bridge and come over and everything and you know, some nice African. Come here, baby. Here we go. Come on. Come to daddy. Come to daddy. Come to your African king. You know I'm not going to hurt you. Come on. There we go, little bug. I'm going to put you outside. Because I love you. You were in Africa. Can't be killing all the bugs. Fly away. Do your thing. Whatever you do, don't go back into my house. Let's just put up the curtain so that we don't have no mosquitoes. I know. This is the life. I'm out of some room. This is me. Ah, this is where I'm going to stay when I come back. The next time I want to bring my daughter. You know. This is just. I rent a car. It costs like 370 for the week. And the best thing you want to do is rent a car. They can take Uber everywhere. Uber is everywhere. And it's very safe here. You just have your phone, get a chip, and just take Uber. That's it. It's just just the life. When everybody tells you about Africa and they talk what they're talking. The more I travel, the more I learn, the more I realize. There's a big lie. People like to talk. A lot of people like to hide things. Certain people keep secrets from certain people. And this African experience is a big secret. Wakanda forever. You guys, don't be scared. If you need my help, if you need to know how to make this trip, I'll help you. Save your money. I have friends now. All over the country. Give thanks. This is where my virgin stayed in Guguleto. So now we're going to the ghetto of Guguleto. And um, you'll see a difference between class, um, once you get closer in. But today we're going to go sightseeing. We're going to go to Table Mountain. Um, Cape Town is better off and worse off than Jamaica in a couple of ways. There's a lot more people, I think, probably suffering here. Um, the quality, it's, it's, there's a lot of long, long distance to go for the professional community to establish themselves, the natives to establish themselves in the professional world and to get a 
but the ghettos are right next to the wealth. I've seen some things that shock in there. A lot more just regular people sleeping on the streets here. Um, it's, 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 it's something to experience. I think it's a great, great country and it has amazing potential for growth. And uh, I think this is a great place to invest. Now we're going to Cuculeto. And um, on this journey, I'm driving by myself, finally. Um, stay on the left, stay on the left, Randy. And uh, it's good to see both sides uh, because I came here and I'm working on the documentary to spotlight the challenges in Trenchtown. A lot of people don't want to talk about it, but it's, it's so blatant, it's so obvious, it's so divisive and so in your face that the system is is uh, is in need of some additional support from external powers but if you're Jamaican or wherever you're from let me tell you something don't don't listen to no one with crime or anything this the streets are better than Jamaica um, it's good infrastructure, but the ghetto, you'll see in the ghetto, there's like Kingston ghettos, but it's a bigger um, range of ghettos, people sleeping on, sleep on the actual road. Sometimes you see garbage heaps. Um, you know, Google Leto. Um, I've seen a guy literally drinking water from the literal concrete as the water ran on the street and I'm like okay wait a minute hold up hold up <laughs> and there's when you talk about wealth when you and we're gonna go to the rich neighborhoods but the people um they're in a state of despair and we're gonna see that I'm gonna film that I'm gonna go up close with some of these people and talk to them and uh a lot of different cultures from um, Malawi and um, Zimbabwe are here for work. A lot of different African cultures, countries, people, they come here for work because of tourism. Tourism here is massive. The tourist side of things, just like in Jamaica, is beautiful. So I've traveled to, now here's our ghetto over here, okay. I've traveled to um, different countries like Jamaica, now we're in South Africa, and I'm seeing the same thing. You got the townships. So, you know, I'm seeing the same thing where the natives, you know, are kind of blocked away for tourists. But let me tell you something this place has. Is one of the most important place on our planet. One, the resources, and now here's a, a, a traffic light that was actually damaged because um, there was a riot and the people were upset they burned something and kind of destroyed the stoplight. So sometimes you have the frustration and people just kind of uh, break out into frustration and they do things to damage their environment because they have no other option but this is what you call see all the garbage here right so this is the condition hot sun long distance to walk for these people sometimes and just garbage like sometimes like everywhere so this is this, we're going to Google Leto, uh, my friend Tebe. It's a Tebe Around the Adventure in, in Cape Town. Turn left. Google Leto, we're going to turn left. And we might want to turn the camera off. Yeah. But knowing me, I am a fearless spider man. Turn left. So we're going to turn, turn left, left here. Google Leto. You know me, I, I, I 
probably should turn the camera off. You know, these big phones in people's faces in the ghetto, man. It's not a good idea. But you know me, Ronnie, I'm a I'm a gangster. Alright, so stay on the left. I have to keep reminding myself to stay on the left. So that's the minimus park. And now we're going in the ghetto. Let me ease back with the phone Turn here. Back. Hold it down a little. You don't want to uh, be too obvious. Yeah, stay on the left, buddy. Stay on the left. So the houses where I'm going to for my friend, they're all wonderful. He just, my Tebe, you guys are gonna get to know Tebe on my channel because Tebe's gonna continue filming for me, right? Now be careful, Ronnie. Just be easy, be easy with this phone. Uh oh, okay, slow down, buddy. Hide this phone, slow down. Don't be so obvious. Respect the people. So anyway, I'm gonna slow down and so here we have a little peek. These are the homes in the ghetto. This is the life. Whoa, that was monstrous. Did not see that bumper coming. So he called us the ghetto. Some parts are still very livable. And um, where the kids are playing over there. You know, a little shop there. Right, see Randy is driving with one hand and just like I always do about this time, whenever I have to shoot a film, I just have to shoot a film. That's what filmmakers do, we take risk. That's why you support the filmmaking adventures of Rodney Podger. Because now when people see me with the phone, they're like, uh-oh. And then they would actually follow you to where you are. So you gotta be careful. Phones here are a big commodity. And I'm shooting with an iPhone 10, so like, but capturing ghetto life to expose conditions so people could see what I'm seeing is very important. Filmmaking is like great for social change and improvement of community because if you can't see what's happening, then you can't help. And the news media can tell you anything. So I'm a reporter. I didn't sign up for this, but that's what my life turned out to be. I used my own money to report on people all over the world. So, let's turn this off for now. I mean, I talk to a cause of Jamaican inspiration. Sometimes they make me feel bad. You are trying to be Jamaican, and I'm like, but Jamaica is Africa. Jamaica talks about roots and culture. And it came to me. I was in my bedroom. <laughs> it came to me. as a rest. I know I'm not coming here. And then the music. See the music. I I learned the lyrics made me to go through encyclopedias. Maybe to check the cool. Hey Teba, um, this is Teba and Randy Shaw, and we're hungry. So here's what you're gonna do in this wonderful restaurant, Teba. Right. You're gonna finish the speech, but you're gonna call her over. And let's just get some food yeah, now. Right Teba, on. this is a Teba around the adventure. Sure, yeah, All right, now we're in this amazing, this is a, this is a restaurant. What's the name of it? Uh, it's called Topia Restaurant. Yes, yes. This, this is a restaurant, guys. Topia. It's all art and stuff. Let me tell you guys, South Africa is a world that you need to discover. It is, it is a world beyond other worlds. Do not listen to anybody. This is the place to be. Every Jamaican, you need to listen to me carefully. Save your money, right? It's $22 a night for me to stay at the Airbnb I'm staying yeah. and then Teba you could guys you could rent a car for about $38 a day yeah. so that's about 58 per day to rent a car call Teba link with Teba and yes, Teba sir. will take you on the journey you give Teba a look at change you give Teba his fee Teba will take you to all the greatest let me tell you guys this has been my second day in South Africa and let me tell you, I haven't even been anywhere yet, but 
This has been one of my greatest experience in life, and it's just, just the beginning. Uh, things are a little slower. I'm still in my New York pace of mind. This is the Teba Arani Adventure. Teba is an amazing reggae musician in Wicked, and this is we're gonna continue his interview. After this, I'm gonna play some of his music for you. This man is a legend in the community. It's an honor to be among him and eat with him. All right, Teba. I remember. Um, you know the veggie platter and then you have some lamb food. Yeah, with some rice. It's a white rice with lamb. No, you put, what do you call it? You put injera. It's, it's like a thing that you pick up yeah, with? Yeah, to clean. Okay. It's very authentic. Mm -hmm. First time, maybe a lot of trigger. You do take cards, right? Yes. You select the third dish, whatever it is. He selected two, you select another. So you know the veggie platter, right? So we like to have a platter with some lamb and other things other than the veggie lamb. Mm -hmm. So one veggie sampler and yeah, some veggie sampler. And then what would you recommend him someone who's first it? And I'm Jamaican, so spicy oh, is fine. Take this meat platter and the veggie sampler. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What would you have for this as drink? A drink, we have beer, we have wine, tea, coffee. Do you have any lemonade? Can, yeah, I have punch? can I have two tall glasses of that? It's in a can, a small can. Nothing, okay. That's fine. That's fine. You can have orange juice. Orange juice. Thank you. All right, thanks so much. Mm. So, Teba, you were saying about your music, Jamaica. Yeah, man. It's a regular roots and culture, man. Trust me, no, man. So the music has made me getting some promoters out of nowhere. They say, yo, come true, man. Could I buy your flight ticket to New Zealand or Samoa or Italy? It's been consistently happening, you see it? And yeah, I humble myself because me respect Jamaica to the maximum. You see, but still, I remember one time I was in reggae gym. In, in, in Germany, and I, I, I see Kipperich. I'm saying, may I respect Kipperich and many other Jamaican artists. So for the first time, I come to Germany, and me has been going there for the first time. Not because me is a badass, but he just me listen to I and I calling. He said, listen to my calling, and I, I never allowed to be brainwashed by Bobby Wrong. So since then, my life has felt complete, but more needs to be learned and be all revealed. And, uh, and I realized that what I think in Jamaica, you know, like in Spanish, they move 10 days of, when you say reggae, it's Jamaica, it's African content on some next level. So I'm a big up Jamaica for taking care of I and I, trust me. 20 years in the industry and I never went wrong. I'm still learning, see? Yes, sir. So now, now Tiba, what has been the experience meeting Randy Pottinger? What has been it for you? Meeting Randy has been uh, next next level of elevation, meditation. It goes with the profound education and mental liberation, spiritually and financial achievement. Uh, because no warriors, no youths, them seek beyond what politicians are uh, promising. So this is a practical, achievable objective. You see where you can, while you rising, spiritually, mentally, economically, you can independently be effective because we represent the past generation, step into the future in this present time. You see it, you see it. So this is a, not even the first days, first few hours and it's like, it's like a spark that's gonna be a prairie fire as you go through. Some things we can't predict, but the feeling and the sensation 
is massive. It's, uh, so you have a positive outlook on different things and you know that I, I, I selectively wanted to share information that I didn't share with the world only with Africa, only with Zulu. Yeah. Yeah. Why did I choose Zulu? I don't know. But we will find out later. You find out because you, you met up with Nkrovo. Yeah. You see, you see, the system divides the people them into whatever uh, tribal war. But if you collect all the energies of all these elements, you are one strong nation. Like we just came to, to some Mali regions who are masters of navigation. In Togo, they used to describe Shaka as the, as the a man who know how to assemble backwards. When you talk about King Moshesh of Lesotho, one of the most intelligent leaders, when you talk about the South African leader from Biko, Sobukwe, Mandela, when you talk about African musicians, South African musicians, Mary Makeba, talk about Tani Somazuai, those are all from certain part of the country. So, it's a, it's a, it's still the Garden of Eden, and from my physical journey, I know Africa is more than, first of all, the name Africa was coming, came from a white man. This is Kush, Utopia. So, because we are confident, we know that we belong to the world. We never colonize the world, like some insecure individuals. We come and manifest and we be. But my lot. This is a very big mission, man. See, it's the next level. We have a stick and your hand, a USB, to be injected to. What I want to do to the 